Hi, my name is Ron Sebastian, and I want to give you a brief overview of the new Lotus Notes 8 client and Domino 8 server platform. Lotus Notes 8 client is more than just an email client, but is in fact a collaboration suite, largely designed by thousands of customers throughout the world. Now let's take a look at the new client. As you can see, first of all, the, the user interface has been greatly enhanced. We start our applications by cli clicking on the open button, and I'll go to the mail function first. Now, users who are familiar with Notes will, be, will find this user interface uh, quite easy to use. It hasn't changed much. However, we also have allowed the end users to customize the user interface. For example, we can go to a preview on side mode, which is similar to other mail clients on the market, and you might be more familiar with that, uh, this particular view. Now, we've also created ways of managing your inbox a little bit easier. For example, you can, you can find out the importance of an email message by simply looking at the icon over here on the, on the right. If you see a solid icon, this tells you that, in fact, the email has been sent just to you. In fact, you will get different icons if, if the email has been sent to you and one other, or you and many other people, or if you're just a carbon copy. So you can very rapidly take a look and see the importance of an email message. Now, we've also integrated chat and presence into the client as well. Hover over any name, and you'll immediately get a business card that shows that person's personal information. And if the person is highlighted in green, you can simply select the person from, from your, inside your email and start a chat with that person right away. And again, we have the full chat capability of same time. I'll talk a little bit more about that a little later. Now, we've also made it easier to manage your inbox by using something we call mail threads. Now, I select this mail message here. You'll notice a little arrow. If I expand that arrow, you'll notice that you get all of the related mail messages to that selected uh, item. In other words, suppose you go away for a couple of days. You come back to your inbox. You can take a look at the mail thread and see how other people have responded. And maybe, in fact, you don't even have to you know, deal with that mail item because it has automatically been handled for you by somebody else. The entire thread is available in a single view. Now, in fact, we actually treat mail threads as, as individual objects. So, for example, if I select this mail item here and drag that mail thread to a folder like this, not only have I moved that mail message, but I moved the entire thread as well. This makes managing your inbox much easier because you can clean out uh, multiple mail messages at the same time. Now, we've also, you know, how many times have you wanted to, you know, you've sent a mail message out and, you know, you hit that send button just a little too fast? Well, now with Notes 8, we have the ability to recall that message. Simply go to your sent folder and select the message and hit the recall button. And immediately what you can do is select the people from the list who you want to recall that message from the server and send that off and the server will actually recall that message for you. It's a great time saver in case you've accidentally sent something you didn't want to. Now, we've also enhanced the calendar as well, making it much more graphical as well as color-coded. So, for example, you can see the different types of meetings that you have in your calendar at a quick glance. But the other nice thing that we've done, making it, again, easier to manage items in your inbox and your calendar, is we've put unprocessed mail items in your calendar as well. So, for example, this gray item here is a meeting invitation. And it shows up on the calendar exactly where that invitation would, would be if you choose to accept the meeting. And again, you can just simply select that calendar entry, and the menu at the top will automatically change, and you can choose to accept or decline it. If you accept it, it'll become permanent in your calendar. If you decline it, it'll disappear. Also, you can see the red item here. This shows you a cancellation notice. So immediately you can find out the meetings that have been canceled just by looking at your calendar. Now, we've also enhanced the contact uh, name and address book, your personal address book. Again, making it a much more graphical business card view. And again, if a person is online, that person will show up in green in your contact list, and you could start a chat with that, uh, with that person immediately. Now, um, another area that I want to really talk about in Notes 8 is something we call the side shelf. And this is an area where we, we add what we call plugins. And the first one I want to show you is the same time plugin. Now, Notes 8 and the new same time client are both based on the open source Eclipse um, product, basically called Lotus Expediter. 
And because they are based on the same functionality, what we were able to do is embed the full same time client technology inside the Notes 8 client. So you can see here the, the awareness of your buddy list, but you also have the capability of starting a voice chat, doing a video call, and also being able to send a file. All the same capabilities that you have with the standalone client get embedded inside of Notes 8. Now, if you want to take these windows and separate them because you want them viewed you know, as separate windows, just simply select any one of the plugins, open that up in a new window, and now you have the capability of viewing that as a separate window. And if you want to dock it back, just close the window, and it will automatically dock itself back into the side shelf. Now, we also provide a, a data glance plug a data glance plugin. This plugin it gives you you know all of your calendar entries and a summary view of the of a, of, a, of a particular day. And again, you can see the color coding, and again, you can see the unprocessed calendar entries. For example, here's that meeting invitation, and right away I could just simply right mouse button on it and choose to accept or decline it directly from this plugin. We also have included in the side shelf. Is an, is an RSS feed reader. So now you can get access to all of your news feeds anytime that you want. Now one of the other capabilities that I really want to talk about is the, is, the, is the way that you can extend the functionality of the Notes 8 client. As I mentioned earlier, Notes 8 is based on an open source Eclipse uh, based product called Lotus Expediter. And because of that, you can extend the functionality of your Notes applications by adding in standard Eclipse plugins. To, and we can extend that functionality. We call that extension uh, creating a mashup or a, a composite application. So, for example, in this case, I have a little application that we've built here that really makes it very simple. What it does is you select a particular document, any document, a mail document, and it reads the address, goes out to Google, Google Maps, and maps the address of that person. So, for example, here, you can see that the address was in the signature area of, the, of this particular mail message. Again, if I go ahead and select a different document, you notice that we'll automatically go ahead and, um, and, and map that particular address. Now, this is just a, a simple example of the way that you can extend the functionality of the Notes 8 client, but I think it gives you a good idea of what's possible. Now, we've also enhanced um, the search capability within the Notes 8 client as well. So, for example, if I do a very quick search here, say a search on something called Finance Portal, you can see that I get my mail message that, uh, that has that in its, in, in its content. Now, we can also scope down the search. So instead of searching everything, we can search just on mail items, maybe just your calendar or contacts. But also, with Notes 8, we've integrated, if you have it installed on your desktop, the Google search, uh, Google search capability. So now, without having to leave your Notes 8 client and open up a browser, we can search not only all of my desktop items, but also my mail items as well. So for example, here's that same mail that I showed in the individual search. It's now showing up here in my Google Desktop search. But also all of the other documents that I have on my desktop as well. In fact, right here, you can see that we have an, a document here. This is, in fact, an open, an open document format text file. And this allows me to show you the next capability of Notes 8. That's the fact that we've embedded a complete set of editors to allow you to edit these open document formats, both for word processing files like you see here, but also for spreadsheets and for presentations. In fact, if I go to my menu here and, and, and open up my file, I can actually show you the different files that we can open and edit. We support all the standard open document formats. These are the industry standard formats. For all you smart suite users out there, you now can, you know, take advantage of Notes 8 and edit all of your existing WordPro and your freelance documents as well as 123. And of course, you can still edit your standard Microsoft Office formats as well. And again, this is all built into the client. Now, you know, once you start opening up some, uh, some windows over here, what we do is we make it kind of easy to find where you want to go within the client. What you do here is just click on the thumbnail viewer, and you can see all of your open tabs. And you can very rapidly go to the application that you want to. So for example, I'll just select mail here, and I can immediately bounce back to my mail application. Now, if you really wanted to find more information about Lotus Notes 8 and Domino 8, you can simply go to our website. And that allows me to show you the other capability in the Notes 8 client, the embedded web browser. 
So I'll open up the web browser here and just tell you that you can go to www.ibm.com slash Lotus and learn more about the Lotus Notes product as well as all of the other Lotus portfolio products as well. Well, that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. My name is Ron Sebastian, and thank you for watching.